Well, you guys got another video here for you. Can you upgrade a pre-built PC? The answer to that is yes and no. And we're going to go through it in more detail in this video. Now, a lot of people will look at something like this where they see a Dell Optiplex 5055 and they're looking for a cheap uh, PC, which they can convert into a gaming system and maybe do some upgrades. So you can see here AMD Ryzen 5 Pro and it says it has 32 gigabytes of RAM in here. So it sounds pretty good on paper, but can you upgrade it? And is it viable for gaming in 2024? So now if you're looking to buy something like this and not upgrade it and just use it, then yeah, you can buy these pretty cheap and use them. But if you're looking to upgrade it and maybe turn it into a gaming system or maybe add a graphics card or maybe upgrade the processor to try and add more uh, longevity to it, then this is where the problem will start to get tricky. First off, the person doesn't verify what actual CPU is in here, it just says Ryzen 5 Pro. So people hear the word Ryzen 5, and of course they will then start assuming that it's a big uh, new modern Ryzen 5 in there. But as you can see here, upgrade Optiplex 5055 Ryzen with 2700X. Someone has asked in the question, can they drop a 2700X in that machine and bring it up to date a little bit? from the Ryzen 5 Pro. So now we know that it's probably got a older generation processor in there than the 2700X. Also, it's important to check the manufacturer's website to find out what type of uh, CPUs they put in these machines so you have a rough idea of what you've got or what you're buying and whether it's uh, even upgradable. So first off, this CPU is not going to be compatible with Windows 11. You're not going to be able to install or upgrade to Windows 11 at a later date. It will tell you all of the CPUs that they offer in this particular format. And again, you will get an idea of what CPU is possibly in there. It tells you what chipset they're using as well. And this is another important thing. A lot of these uh, machines are BIOS locked and they will not allow you to upgrade the CPU because they don't have the code inside the actual uh, BIOS to allow you to upgrade the CPU. It's not like a, any other manufacturer like uh, Gigabyte, MSI, uh, you know, Asus and other manufacturers like these where you can upgrade the uh, BIOS and then drop in a more powerful CPU. But in this case, as you can see, if you do a bit of research, you won't be able to drop in here any sort of Ryzen 5000 series uh, processor in here, like a 5600G or 5700G or a Ryzen 5800X3D. It's just not going to work with this chipset or this particular motherboard. And this is the biggest problem that people are going to run into. This has a Ryzen 5 Pro inside there, which should have been specified as a Ryzen 5 Pro 1500 or 1600. And it's one of those processors that's in there. So what can you actually drop inside that motherboard and have it work for you? Well, you might be able to get away with a Ryzen 7 Pro 1700 or even a Ryzen 7 1800X. You might be able to put one of those in it and get it to work. And someone that has said that they have dropped in a 1800X and it worked. But I can tell you right now, you're not going to be able to drop in a 2700X inside here. So looking at this one here, can you buy something like this, which is only £52.99? Now, if you want to use this as is, then it's perfectly fine. But if you're looking to drop in, say, another CPU in here as a Ryzen 3 2200G, and maybe you're looking to drop in a more modern uh, CPU like you could on a Gigabyte board, MSI board, or Asus, or one of them other branded manufacturer motherboards. This is an OEM motherboard in here. And I can tell you right now, the BIOS will be locked and you won't be able to upgrade uh, to one of those 5000 series Ryzen CPUs. And this is why a lot of these people are selling them because they're just not upgradable. And of course, a lot of people fall for this every single time and end up buying these systems and finding out that they can't upgrade it to a Ryzen 5 5600 or something like that. It just won't work. The BIOS won't allow that chip to be recognized in the board. And this is a big problem. So you might be able to upgrade to, for instance, a 2400G from a 2200G, or maybe you might be able to get to, say, a 1600 
or maybe an 1800X, depending on the type of machine you're buying and the type of board you're buying. You need to do your research and check on the manufacturer's website and it will give you a full breakdown of what CPUs were in these particular machines. And this will give you an indication of what you can actually do with it. It'll also tell you the power supply on these machines and it will also tell you uh, what is uh, upgradable. Now, most of the time you can upgrade the CPU, but you're not going to be able to upgrade it to as high as you think you are. And this is the big problem with it. So you can upgrade memory and maybe put a bit more memory in it. You may be able to upgrade it to a SSD from a, a hard drive, mechanical hard drive. And you may even be able to put an NVMe drive in there if there's a slot on the motherboard. Graphics cards are another big problem because the power supply might not be enough to drive the graphics card that you want to drop in there. And once you put a big graphics card in these systems and upgrade, say, the power supply, if you can, if it doesn't have a proprietary power supply in there, then this is where the problem lies. You're going to end up with bottlenecks and other issues. So when you do a bit of research, there's normally people that have done this already because they're asking the same questions as you are. You'll see a lot of YouTubers promoting this, showing a bit of gameplay, but they're not showing you uh, all of the other stuff and talking about all the other stuff that you might be asking about the CPU and whether you can upgrade the CPU and things like that. So you can see here, this model did ship with a 2200G and they also did a Ryzen 5 2400G. So it's safe to say that you'll probably do a 2400G in this system and it will tell you uh, what the chipset is. It's an AMD B300 chipset. And I can tell you right now, you're not going to be able to put a Ryzen 5000 series processor in there. And you're not probably going to be able to put a 2700X in that motherboard because it probably won't recognize the processor. And the person that's selling these machines already knows that because he would have probably already tried it. And if he could get it to upgrade, he would have probably sold it at a much higher price. So it's important that you check what BIOS is available and whether it will allow you to put in what type of CPU you're looking for with the information that you can read on the BIOS website. Another one here is HP. It's the same for HP as it would be for uh, Fujitsu and the same for Dell Optiplexes and the same for any other type of machine that you're looking to buy like Lenovo's. They're all pretty much the same. They're all OEM systems and they have been built to a budget and they are very difficult to upgrade certain components. If you go to the manufacturer's website, and check the manual, it will tell you what processors were shipped with this particular uh, machine. And with a BIOS update, you might be able to uh, upgrade the CPU to a slightly uh, more powerful CPU. For instance, this had a 2200G, you might be able to drop in there a Ryzen 5 Pro 1500, as it uh, specifies on there. It's no guarantee that it'll work, but you might be able to. Now, if your PC come with the 2400G model, it might be possible that you could get away with the Ryzen 5 Pro 2600. The only problem you're going to have here with this particular problem is that you're using an onboard graphics with 2200G, and that's now going to mean that you're going to have to drop in a graphics card if you're upgrading the CPU to a 2600 on that 2400G model. The problem with that is there might not be enough power on the power supply to run that, and there's another problem you're going to run into. So buying these particular machines like these, which have got very vague listings like Ryzen 5, it's because these are OEM systems and they are not telling you the full uh, CPU listing in there because they don't want you checking up and seeing whether you can upgrade it or not. Here's another one right here, Dell Inspiron 5675 Gaming PC with a Ryzen 3 uh, 1200. Now, without any research, I would probably estimate that you would be able to put in a Ryzen uh, 7 uh, 1700 or maybe at a push Ryzen 7 1800 in that board with a BIOS flash. But there's no guarantee that that would work, but it's more possible that it would work. Another problem you'll run into if you're doing that is also the power draw on the power supply. It is a proprietary power supply, as you can see here. And again, if you want to drop in a more better graphics card, then there's more problems with that issue as well, because you'd need to upgrade the power supply. And some power supplies are proprietary and have funny shapes to them, and you might not be able to upgrade it. So always check for the power supply limits and also check whether it's upgradable. And then you've got to check whether the graphics card will fit in the case. And then the other thing you're going to have to check 
is whether it's even uh, worth doing because if you buy this PC at the price they're charging, which is £275, you're still going to have to buy the CPU, which comes in around about £60 on eBay, which is now going to bump that PC up to over £300. And then also you're going to still have other issues like having to upgrade the power supply to put a bigger graphics card in there. And there's another cost there. And then you're going to have other issues as well, like bottlenecks and other things like that, because now you're knocking the PC out of balance. And that means you're going to have major problems. And this is the problem with it. It's just really not worth uh, doing it. And this is why a lot of people uh, will just offload these and uh, let other people have the issues with them. So if you are looking to buy one of these old systems, also the major problem is they're not compatible with Windows 11. End of life for Windows 10 is coming in October 2025. And also you need to check the balance of the system, whether it's worth uh, building it, because obviously once you start putting a bigger GPU in there, if you can get one in the case, obviously you're going to have to upgrade the power supply. And this also opens up other issues like bottlenecks and things like that. So always check, is it possible to upgrade uh, an OEM system nine times out of ten you're going to be limited to what you can do because of the BIOS and things like that and it's really just not worth it and this is why a lot of people just offload these and let other people have the issues with it you can probably start totting up a major cost once you start thinking about power supply graphics card and also CPU upgrades they would end up making it not a viable project to do and you can end up buying a new system by piecing together a new system on say PC part picker or something like that and end up with a better system all round. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. So I hope this uh, helps people out before they start spending their hard earned cash on this old hardware and not realizing and thinking that they can actually upgrade the CPU. A lot of the time you are going to be very, very limited in what you can actually put in that uh, motherboard. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.